Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. Thank you for dropping by. This is a little project I have to share with you today. It's this little clutch purse, as you can see, and it has a velcro opening, and then it opens up like that. You put that in there, fold that down, and like that. You could also have a magnetic opening. It's really up to you. So, let me show you what I did. I have a template here, and it's so big it doesn't even want to get into the shot. Um, you could see it like that better, maybe. You can take a screenshot of that if you want. Or I am going to... This will be available on the blog post on my website, and the link to that is in the description box below, and you'll be able to find it there and save it. So... I've got a piece of cardstock here and this piece is going to measure 11 and a half inches by 8 inches and on the what I call the long side the landscape mode we are going to score at one and a quarter inches two and a quarter inches five and a quarter inches six and a quarter inches nine and a quarter inches and then ten and a quarter inches okay just like that turn it to the short side and I am going to score at half an inch and at one and a half inches and then I'm going to turn it around 180 degrees so I'm still on the short side but the other side of the short and again at half and at one and a half okay and that's what you should do so let's move the scoreboard out the way and now we are going to fold on all these numerous score lines and I'm going to use my bone folder to get a really good fold and just fold them all up so there we go and I said all the measurements and the supply list will be on the blog post and the link to, that's on my website and the link to that is in the description box below so don't worry about having to take all the measurements down now okay and that side and then one more here okay Okay, so now we fold all our score lines. So, at the moment, the top and the bottom are total mirror images of each other. So you can see here where I've marked all the shaded areas. That's where we're going to cut. So, I'm going to cut here one, two score lines in. And I'm going to cut up to the third score line. I'm going to cut that piece out. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So second score line in and up to the third score line. And a piece out just like that okay then I am going to cut here on the opposite side I'll do this next actually again second score line in but this time I'm only going to cut up until the second score line and take that out So again, the same on this side. Second score line in, and up to the second score line this time, and take that piece out. So that's what we've got so far. Now in the centre you see you've got this little half inch piece right in the centre, and you're going to cut up the score line on the side, 
just to release this piece and then this little half inch tab here you're going to get rid of that so it should look like that and you're going to do the same on the side you're going to release the tab and then cut off this little half inch piece okay so now all that's left to do is you want to do some little mitre cutting and this basically means an angle cut on all the bits that are going to fold in and this just helps everything come together more easily so you can see there and then on this little piece here like that and then again here and this is just on this little half inch tab here just like that and then on this little tabby here too okay so well, let's get rid of all of these excess bits now before they get in the way you can save those if you want to punch things out and well, let's bring in our templates and let's see if it matches up all we should be able to see is the hashed lines and we can there we go okay so I would advise you to take a pic when you want to make this yourself is to save a picture of the template and then make a template for yourself just like I've done here make a copy of this for yourself and then start to cut and it will be so much more easy once you do that okay so next thing we're going to do is I want to round the corners of these two little outer tabs here so I'm going to bring my detailed trio punch and just round these corners and this just makes things look a bit more professional and it does help everything fold together more easily okay so get rid of those little pieces and then we're going to start to stick our designer series paper and this is the awash in beauty and last time we used this side and now we're going to use the opposite side so it's much easier to stick your paper down before you start and I'm not going to give you the measurements for this it'll all be on the blog post so do do check that out check that template out it will really help you okay so you can tell me which pattern you prefer the one we did before or this one I think they're both gorgeous but you let me know which which you like best okay so that's what we've got so far and now what I like to do at this point these are our main panels is figure out how this thing is going to come together so it's going to come this is going to be the back because it's going to sit up whoopsie daisy these bits are going to fold in this is going to fold in here that's how it's going to come together so once I've got that then I know this is going to be my front so I want paper here and here okay so this piece here is going to be a larger piece like that and we're going to want to round the corners of this as well to match so let's do that quickly and then it will match nicely the base just try and get everything as straight as you can okay And then your next piece is going to go in here. Oh, 
as you can see. So that's going to fold over, that's going to fold in, so I want another piece, the only other place I'm going to put pieces here, the next place to put a piece rather is there, and once I put it all on it'll make much better sense, whoops, like that, and then we just want two little pieces for the side as well. So here, this is one side, and another little piece for this side. So that's where all your designer series paper is going to go. Okay. Now we're going to start to assemble. So I'm going to first put a little bit of glue if it wants to come out, that is, on these two small tabs. Oops. And I bring this tab in to meet this wall and build my box, keeping everything as straight as I can, just like that. That's why I like the Tom though, because it gives you a little bit of wriggle room to get things nicely lined up like that okay and then you're going to want to put glue on these two little tabs here now and splodged out a bit okay and then you're going to bring this over to meet here so you want to again make sure the side is nicely lined up and just pinch it to hold it in place and then do the same here on the side you just want to pinch pinch it to hold it in place and then if you want once you've finished and it's in place you can use your bone folder just to give everything a really good press down like that and then this is going to tuck in like this and this is going to fold over like that so now I'm going to put um, what you call it I'm going to use a little velcro piece here so I've got these velcro pieces I got on the internet Let's see. Where we want this to go. Somewhere around that. And then get the other bit here. Put this on top. And bring this down. Just like that. And then you've got your little Velcro opening. So that's one box. That's the other. I hope you like them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. As I said, all the measurements etc. will be on the blog post on my website. Now this is actually a project we made in Car Club and I host a monthly online car club in my Facebook group and so do come and check that out, the link's below. There's also a link to my Facebook group where I sell all my retired stock so do check it out, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye!